takes a lot of courage to release emotions in front of people. That is an HIV. It's life. It's a hunger for life. Welcome back to BT. That's a powerful scene from a documentary called HIV Healing Inner Voices. It examines the lives of eight Indigenous people living in Vancouver and are HIV positive. The film's director right now joins us on BT, Jada Gabriel Pape. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to be here. I always ask directors why they take on certain projects. I think for this one, though, it's obvious. So I'm going to ask you, were there people in the uh, documentary, some of the subjects that were reluctant to tell this story because it is so deeply personal? There was nobody that was reluctant on any level. The One of the commonalities amongst our people as Indigenous people is we're incredibly generous with our stories and we're courageous. We show up. And everybody who participated in the film knew that sharing their story was going to make them uh, part of a movement of being healers and being teachers. So, no, there was no one that was reluctant. One of the people that struck me in the film was fascinating because he actually said he feels better about his life now that he's HIV positive because he's been more health conscious. He's been able to clean up his life uh, and put behind the past of alcohol and drugs. So I thought that was an amazing irony with these stories. There is... there. It's people coping, right? It's people coping with their illness and finding ways to be healthy. And um, and all of the participants in the film find ways to be mentally healthy, emotionally healthy, spiritually healthy, and of course, physically healthy to, to live with their illness. Jada, how do you think your film will help mend relations uh, between Indigenous people uh, in Canada and the rest of its citizens? Well, uh, if, if this film can have any small part in um, healing some of the injuries caused by colonialization, that would be phenomenal. And um, the work is really for, um, for newcomers to do, for, for settlers to do. It's our people have always shown up to, uh, to be in this conversation. And what can people like myself or us in the media do to help educate all the other people about uh, the, the history of Indigenous uh, relations in Canada? Oh, to center Indigenous voices, to bring us forward as storytellers, as singers, as dancers, as educators, um, to, to center our people, to, to spend lots of time with us, interview us, and to, to showcase our strengths. and. Um, to not just showcase us when we're um, when we're not thriving, but but when we are. Of course, show the success. Tell uh, tell our viewers how people can uh, watch the uh, documentary and about a very special film fest that it's now going to be part of. Yes, so we are uh, we've been accepted into the Queer Film Fest, which is August 13th to the 23rd, and people can go to drawingwisdom.ca to see any upcoming events uh, for for the film. And uh, we're right now part of the AIDS 2020 conference and part of the Indigenous pre-conference. Amazing. And what has the response uh, to the documentary been so far? Oh, it's it's been so wonderful. People have received it so well and have been so generous in hearing the stories and sharing um, sharing their warmth and their gratitude for the film. And being part of this film, it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, everybody who participated in it um, as as interviewees, they were so gracious to share their stories, and um, it's been very very deeply humbling. Well, I'm so glad to be able to talk to you, and uh, I look forward to your future projects. Thank you so much for joining us today on BT. Yes, thank you for having me. That's director Jada Gabrielle Pape, and we'll be back with more BT after this.